Hi and welcome back to freesciencelessons.co.uk. In this video we're continuing to look at the reactions of acids with metals, but now we're looking at these in terms of oxidation and reduction. You should be able to identify which chemicals are oxidised and which chemicals are reduced in terms of electrons, and this is for higher tier students only. In the last video we looked at the reactions between acids and metals. We're going to be exploring this in more detail in this video. But first we need to recap a key fact about acids that we saw in a previous video. Acids produce hydrogen ions H plus in aqueous solutions. And remember that the words aqueous solution just means dissolved in water. So here's hydrochloric acid and as you can see the hydrochloric acid molecule is splitting and releasing H plus. Here's sulfuric acid and again in aqueous solution the sulfuric acid molecule splits and it releases H plus. We looked at the reactions between the metals magnesium, zinc and iron, and hydrochloric acid and sulfuric acid. We saw that when acids react with metals we always produce a salt and hydrogen gas. This shows the reaction between magnesium and hydrochloric acid. So the question is, what's actually happening here? Well as we said before, the hydrochloric acid releases H plus in aqueous solution. So I'm showing that here. Now we're looking in this video at the reaction of acids with metals in terms of oxidation and reduction. So let's start by looking at the magnesium. When magnesium atoms react, they lose two electrons and they form the magnesium ion Mg2+, like this. So as we can see, because the magnesium atoms are losing electrons, this is an example of an oxidation reaction. The magnesium atoms are being oxidised. The H plus ions which are released from the acid now accept these electrons and they form hydrogen gas and I'm showing you that here. So because the hydrogen ions are gaining electrons this is an example of reduction. The hydrogen ions are being reduced. Now we can see the same idea when we look at the reactions of zinc and iron with acids. So here's zinc reacting with hydrochloric acid. You can see here the zinc atoms are losing two electrons to form zinc ions. And again this is an example of an oxidation reaction as the atoms are losing electrons. The hydrogen ions from the acid are gaining the electrons, so they're being reduced. This shows iron reacting with hydrochloric acid. And again you can see the iron atoms are being oxidized as they're losing electrons. And again, the hydrogen ions from the acid are gaining these electrons and being reduced. Now we can use the idea of oxidation and reduction to explain the rate of reaction between metals and acids, which we looked at in a previous video. Magnesium atoms react very rapidly with dilute acids, and that's because they very easily form the positive ion Mg2+. Zinc reacts quite rapidly with dilute acids, and that's because zinc atoms quite easily form the positive ion Zn2+. However, iron reacts slowly with dilute acids. That's because iron atoms do not easily form the positive ion Fe2+. Remember, you'll find plenty more questions on the reactions of acids with metals and on oxidation and reduction in my revision workbook, which you can get by clicking on the link above. Okay, so hopefully now you should be able to discover how acids react with metals. You should then be able to identify which chemicals are oxidised and which chemicals are reduced in terms of electrons.